if you see kashmir files nowhere in the film has the filmmaker ever said that this religion is bad this religion is good this thing happened in our country in late 90s in late 80s and early 90s and somehow we just ignored it as if it did not happen as far as the as you said the atmosphere is not great it is never going to be great henceforth because of something that we all call social media you see this boycott trends that have come up nowadays they are all crap if you ask me <laughs> no film should be boycotted and as happy as i am that kashmir files worked i am equally happy that pathan also worked maan lijiye in a multiplex say four screens are showing pathan and two screens are showing gandhi gorse if i don't get ticket to pathan i'll go and see gandhi gorse <laughs> Hello everyone we have amongst us uh, the multi talented and much talked about actor Chinmay Mandlekar uh, whose latest performances in the Kashmir files and Gandhi versus God say has left everyone in awe of him so welcome chinmay to midday.com thank you uh, my first question to you is you have played characters like shivaji maharaj in pawan khind or santa tukaram in tumaza sangati and then there are characters like bitta malik or nathuram godse in these movies who are uh, portrayed in a negative uh, manner so was there any hesitation when you decided to play these roles no absolutely not on my part there was no hesitation see as an actor you feel very lucky when people uh, approach you for roles of iconic historical figures and also for roles of a villain like uh, Farooq Malik Bitta actually this is what an actor wants you know that he gets to play different kinds of roles throughout his filmography when i started out when when i had just passed out from the national school of drama i i was i used to think that mujhe to sirf villain ke role milenge shayad ya किसी का भाई या वो टाइप्स बट आई हैव बीन वेरी लकी दैट आई गॉट टू प्ले लीड रोल्स इन मराठी फिल्म्स आई गॉट टू प्ले कैरेक्टर्स लाइक संत तुकाराम एंड छत्रपति शिवाजी महाराज देन अ 360 डिग्री टर्न एंड गेटिंग समथिंग लाइक बिट्टा सो ऑल आई कैन से इज आई फील वेरी लकी अबाउट इट Uh, do you think your approach towards the or the perspective has changed because you played these roles No I don't think so I mean uh if you are asking about bitta he i mean he is a bad guy i just wanted to put it out that he is a bad guy there is no there is no two ways about it whatever uh, actually farooq malik bitta in kashmir files is a mixture of two characters so in a way he i will not call him a fictional character but he is kind of a, a mix of two people uh, he doesn't represent one single person but it was conveyed very well in the film that this is a bad guy and not only he, he is a bad guy but this class of people or these people these extremists who are trying to propagate terrorism these are bad people so that was the he was a representative of all of them and as far as nathuram is concerned see nathuram has always been in the gray he for some people he is a hero for some people he is a villain um, whatever he has done was not great it was not something that i would approve of but why he did it the reasoning that he gave or whatever he was thinking there there are certain gray areas to it so i was just trying to figure out or trying to play with that gray area yeah you have uh, worked in marathi film industry you have worked with hindi film industry and in ott as well so which one do you think is the most challenging one and why most challenging is television <laughs> because of the sheer volume of work that happens because there was a time in my life where i was shooting every day of my life 7 8 years when i was doing television continuously from 2012 to almost to 2019 though i enjoyed every bit of it and though uh, i am very thankful to television because it gave me a kind of economic stability and also it gave me a large amount of penetration in maharashtra especially uh because tv reaches at places where you know sometimes even films don't reach but the sheer volume of work that happens every single day when you go on set of a television you are like apart from the half an hour of lunch break and you know maybe half an hour of the nashta break that happens in the evening you are on set all the time so there is no there is no respite there 
and that has kind of trained me so now when you know on film sets when you are like abhi sir aapka shot 2 ghante baad hoga so it feels like luxury <laughs> because we are not used to it uh, doing so much television so i i would say that television is the most challenging job so you are a graduate of nsd and you don several hats that of an actor writer director producer so which one do you identify the most with see actor's job is very nice he goes on the set <laughs> he gets the scene and all he has to do is worry about his own scene and how he will do it so in that way actor's job is fantastic plus he gets all the recognition writer's job is creatively very satisfying because you create a world i mean when a writer sits in front of his laptop or in front of his writing pad there is just a blank paper there is nothing there you think of big projects like say a game of thrones when it started it was just a blank paper so that way writer's job is very creative director in films i have not directed a film yet uh, but i have done a lot of theater as director but in films especially director is kind of the captain of ship so uh, his vision is what the film will look like and producer is a thankless job i mean it's it's not a great job but again i always say that producer is like a father uh, you know uh, he he kind of he is the father he has to be very strict also sometimes he has to scold people sometimes be not a great guy not a good guy or sometimes be a fall guy where everybody will come and you know abuse him uh, but still i mean it's an enjoyable job Uh, so you have received acclamation for your role in the kashmir files but the movie has also created some sort of controversies recently israeli filmmaker nadav lapid said the film is vulgar and it is propaganda so what is your take on that god bless him <laughs> that's all i have to say see it is his individual opinion and uh, i mean that every everyone is entitled to have an opinion uh what felt bad or what felt not in good taste was that he made this statement from a platform which was very prestigious so in a way i would say that he abused the platform that he was given uh to single out a film and call it vulgar um, and whenever people say it's a propaganda film my only question to them is what is propaganda propaganda if i understand the word properly means propagating something or projecting something that is not true you see the film and you tell me that this is not true in the film then i would say yeah it is a propaganda film i don't think it is a propaganda film mm-hmm. otherwise i wouldn't have done it um see i do not belong to any political ideology i do not belong to any party i vote for different parties in all the different elections but what has happened has happened i cannot negate it nobody in this world can negate it nobody can say ke ye hua hi nahi tha kabhi and we just showed what happened so it was very sad i felt very sad i mean i'm not even angry at that guy he is a director himself he should know he should know better uh, so you know that the political and social climate in our country is not at its best right now so do you think making a film like kashmir files would create more divide or would it create more hate between two religions I don't think so. See, intent is very important. If you see Kashmir Files, nowhere in the film has the filmmaker ever said that this religion is bad, this religion is good. You know, we have talked about extremism, we have talked about terrorism. If you see the film, I would request everyone just see the opening line of the film which comes. it says the film is dedicated to all the people who have been persecuted throughout the world it doesn't identify with a particular religion it doesn't say that this film is dedicated to people of this religion it doesn't say that that is not what the film is meant to be this thing happened in our country in late 90s in late 80s and early 90s and somehow we just ignored it as if it did not happen the film is just trying to bring that forth that is all the film is doing now if it is hurting someone if it acha if it would have you know been so strong that it would have created divide ab tak to dange ho chuke hote kahin pe nahi hue so i don't think uh, the film was about that ever as far as the 
as you said the atmosphere is not great it is never going to be great henceforth because of something that we all call social media you see this boycott trends that have come up nowadays they are all crap if you ask me <laughs> no film should be boycotted and as happy as i am that kashmir files worked i am equally happy that pathan also worked i am very happy that a film worked and all this boycott shit just got thrown out of the window uh, also my next question was related to pathan so pathan and gandhi god say released around the same dates so do you think uh, had there been a difference in the dates gandhi god say would have performed better we can say that yeah maybe see now that the film has released and it's done with i can give my personal opinion uh in uh, hindsight i think yeah it might have but why they released it on the same day also has certain logic a it was the same weekend as 30th of january which was the day when nathuram god say assassinated gandhi ji so in that way it was very important also it was a long weekend so maybe pvr pictures the release partners and the makers must have thought ke this is a good opportunity also what i thought was ke yaar maan lijiye in a multiplex say four screens are showing pathan and two screens are showing gandhi god say if i don't get ticket to pathan i'll go and see gandhi god say so that trickle effect also works sometimes but in hindsight if you ask me personally yeah it would have done better maybe if it would have released like you know a week or two weeks afterwards that is what is my personal opinion but i am not someone who is uh, who is in the decision making position as far as this film is concerned they must have thought something and it did reasonably reasonably well it was not a, a bad uh, uh, opening considering that there were no you know kind of stars in the film it reasonably well uh, and with gandhi and god said uh, rajkumar santoshi made a comeback after yeah. a long time so how was it working with him it was fantastic i mean uh, see this guy mr santoshi has worked with all the major actors in this country you you name the actor i think apart from shahrukh khan he has worked with all the big actors right from mr bachchan to ranveer kapoor to shahid kapoor to everybody and uh, when his filmography will be written or people will go and search for him on wikipedia there will be a gandhi god say with my name on it and that feels very proud uh and working with him was a joy because he is a thorough filmmaker i mean he does not ignore even one single small tiny aspect of his entire vision so it was fun working with him so we are wrapping up the interview and my last question to you is as holi is approaching do you have any nostalgic memories of holi and what are your <laughs> plans for this year my uh, best memories of holi are uh, my 3 years of national school of drama they were they were fun because uh, you know we celebrate holi here but in north india it is superb i mean they know how to celebrate holi like when i meet friends from north india i said we know how to celebrate diwali aap log ek hi din diwali manate ho hum log char din diwali manate so we used to have this uh, thandai and bhang and music and rain dance and everything so that was really fun so those 3 years and that holi was very special Uh, उसके बाद ऐसी होली कभी मनी नहीं है मेरे से एंड या प्लान्स दिस ईयर दिस ईयर विल बी स्पेशल स्पेशली फॉर माय किड्स बिकॉज बिकॉज ऑफ कोविड फॉर पास्ट ऑलमोस्ट टू थ्री इयर्स दे वर नॉट एबल टू सेलिब्रेट होली दिस ईयर दे हैव फुल ऑन प्लान ऑफ डूइंग इट राइट राइट दैट वाज इट थैंक यू सो मच फॉर थैंक यू सो मच धन्यवाद थैंक यू थैंक्स सब्सक्राइब टू मिड डे इंडिया गेट डायरेक्ट नोटिफिकेशंस ऑन ऑल आवर वीडियोस बाय क्लिकिंग ऑन द बेल आइकन 